Have you ever wondered why eyes are often called the windows to the soul? Thought-provoking question. Our eyes perceive and process light that reflects off of real objects in the world around us, and our brain interprets these signals. Are we really perceiving an external world or are we perceiving the world within us? We will explore extraordinary facts, each more eye-opening than the last. Ever wonder why a baby's eyes are so big? Well, that's because your eyes remain the same size from birth even until death, or that we blink more than 25,000 times a day. We'll even delve into the seemingly impossible, like the fact that our eyes actually see everything upside down. The human eye is a realm of wonder and surprises, and we're just about to scratch the surface. Did you know that your eyes started developing just two weeks after conception? That's right, even before you're the size of a pea, your eyes begin their incredible journey. It's a process that's as fascinating as it is complex. The eyes are one of the first things to develop in an embryo. They start as tiny specks of tissue, and over time they transform into one of the most intricate organs in the human body. This process of eye development continues even after birth, as the eyes continue to grow and change throughout childhood. Isn't it astounding that something so complex begins its development so early in life? But that's just the beginning of the remarkable journey of your eyes. Now here's another mind-boggling fact. Your eyes have the extraordinary ability to distinguish between millions of different color shades. Yes, you heard that right, millions. This is thanks to the cone cells in your eyes. There are three types of these cells, each sensitive to different wavelengths of light. These wavelengths correspond to the colors red, green, and blue. It's a bit like the pixels on your computer screen. By combining these primary colors, your eyes can perceive an almost infinite range of hues, creating a vibrant world of color. Imagine a painter's palette with millions of distinct colors. That's essentially what your eyes are working with every time you open them. From the subtle shades of a sunset to the vibrant hues of a rainbow, your eyes capture these colors and transmit them to your brain, painting a picture of the world around you. So the next time you're marveling at a beautiful landscape or a piece of art, take a moment to appreciate the incredible work your eyes are doing. They started their journey much before you were born, and now they're allowing you to perceive a world full of color and beauty. Ever considered why we blink? Most of us would say it's to keep our eyes moist. And yes, you're not wrong, but there's more to it. Blinking is like a mini spa session for your brain. On average, we blink about 15 to 20 times per minute. That's around 28,000 times a day. It's almost like our eyes are on a constant marathon. Each blink lasts about just a tenth of a second, which means our brain is taking a micro break nearly 3,000 times an hour. That's a lot of rest time. What's the purpose, you ask? Researchers believe these frequent mini breaks help to keep our brains alert and prevent overload. It's a neat little mechanism that nature has incorporated to ensure we stay on top of our game. So the next time you blink, remember your brain is taking a tiny vacation. We actually see the world upside down? Now don't start doing handstands just yet. This might sound like a riddle, but it's actually all about the way our eyes and brain work together. You see, the lens in our eye projects images onto the retina, the light-sensitive layer at the back of our eye. But here's the twist. It does so upside down and reversed. Imagine the world as a slide, and our eyes as the projector. The slide goes in one way, but the image on the screen appears flipped. Similarly, the retina catches the world inverted and mirrored. The brain takes this topsy-turvy image and flips it right side up, giving us the correct view of our surroundings. Incredible, isn't it? Our brain works tirelessly to make sense of what our eyes see. Who needs night vision goggles when our eyes can adapt to darkness? It's quite amazing, really. The rod cells in our retinas responsible for low-light vision contain a pigment called rhodopsin. This pigment is extremely sensitive to light and allows us to see in dim conditions. However, it takes about 30 to 45 minutes for the eyes to fully adapt to low light, explaining why we gradually see better in the dark. When we step into a dimly lit room, initially, we might not see much, but give it a minute or two, and it's as if someone gradually turned up the brightness. This process is known as dark adaptation. It's not as immediate or as clear as night vision goggles, but it's a natural ability that has served us well throughout evolution. Have you ever wondered how fast our eyes send information to the brain? Well, the speed is mind-boggling. Our eyes function like high-speed cameras, capturing multiple frames every second and sending them to the brain to be processed. In fact, the human eye can process roughly 36,000 bits of information every hour. That's like downloading a short novel every hour, and you don't even have to read it. This speedy sight allows us to react quickly to our surroundings and make fast decisions. Whether it's catching a falling glass before it hits the ground or hitting the brakes when a deer darts across the road, 
Our eyes are constantly processing and sending information at a dazzling speed. So, not only are our eyes fast processors, but they also have their own built-in night mode. Are you one of those with captivating blue eyes? Ever wondered where they originate from? Well, here's an interesting fact for you. All blue-eyed individuals share a common ancestor. Yes, you heard that right. A genetic mutation that occurred between 6,000 to 10,000 years ago is responsible for the existence of blue eyes. Before this time, it is believed that all humans had brown eyes. The mutation affected a gene called OCA2, which is involved in the production of melanin, the pigment that gives color to our hair, skin, and eyes. This mutation didn't turn off the gene entirely, but rather limited its function, reducing the production of melanin in the iris and resulting in blue eyes. So, if you're a blue-eyed individual, you're part of a special group that started with a single ancestor. Isn't it fascinating how our eyes not only serve as a window to the world, but also as a mirror to our ancestry? From the mystery of blue eyes, we now shift focus to another fascinating aspect of our vision. Did you know that while humans can't normally see ultraviolet, UV, light, some people can after a certain surgery? That's right. Some individuals who have had cataract surgery and received artificial lenses can perceive UV light. The natural lens in our eye usually filters out UV rays to protect the delicate inner workings of our eye, but the artificial lens allows these wavelengths to be detected. This is not a superpower, rather it's an unexpected side effect of the surgery. Just imagine seeing the world in a light spectrum that was previously inaccessible to you. Isn't it amazing how medical advancements can not only restore, but sometimes even enhance our natural abilities? From the vast darkness of night vision, let's shift our focus to something that is uniquely human, emotional tears. Yes, you heard it right. Humans are the only species known to shed emotional tears. But there's more to these tears than just water. In fact, the composition of these tears is different from the ones we produce due to irritation or when we're cutting onions. Emotional tears contain a mix of stress hormones and other unique biochemical substances. This suggests a possible role in emotional regulation it's as if our bodies are designed to cry out the stress. So, the next time you find yourself shedding a tear or two during a heartfelt movie scene or a touching moment, remember, it's not just an emotional response, but a complex biochemical process. And it's a uniquely human experience that shows the depth of our emotions. Isn't the human body just amazing? Diving deeper into the captivating world of our eyes, did you know that your eyes are as unique as your fingerprints? Yes, that's right. The pattern of blood vessels in your retina that intricate network at the back of your eye is unique to you and no one else in the world. This has led to the development of retinal scans, a highly secure method of biometric identification. Just imagine, in a world of over 7 billion people, no two individuals share the exact same retinal pattern. It's like having a personal ID card imprinted right in your eyes. This technology is currently being used in various fields, from securing your smartphone to authenticating access in high security areas. This fascinating fact underscores the individuality of our eyes and reminds us that we are all unique in our own ways. So the next time you look into the mirror, remember, your eyes are not just windows to your soul, they are also the unique identifiers that set you apart from the rest of the world.